Let's see UX Pilot features that no one's talking about. Let's see some features in UX Pilot that can help you a lot when you're working with the application. I will move one by one as always, only the most important thing and everything to the point. First of all, here on the header, you can move between different projects. You don't need to go out to the file managers. Next thing to know that all the pages you save in UX Pilot from all your projects will appear here on this tab. So if I click on it, you can see all the projects I save in UX Pilot. So if I want to take one screen for one project and add it to this project, I can do it easily. Just click on it and it will appear in this project. This can help you if you work in a project with different pages. So you can open two different projects and take from one project to another project and continue iterate in a new one instead that everything will be in the same file. Let's click on generate. Next thing to know that UX Pilot has the option to help you write the prompt. In this icon, there is some prompt tools. First of all, if I click on it, I can have some prompt example. This will be good for the people that use the first time UX Pilot. Once I click on it, it will add here a simple prompt. But in a case you have an idea for a project, but you want to make your prompt better, you can do it easily by clicking on enhance prompt. I delete now this prompt and I have now a new idea for your application. I add here finance app, an app to organize your income and expenses to manage your finance better. Now this is a very simple prompt, but if I want to make a better prompt, I need to add details. I can do it manually, but if you want some help on that, you click on the prompt tools and then enhance prompt. Once I click on that, UX Pilot will generate for me a better prompt for my idea. I click on it, UX Pilot now created a better prompt, I click here and now you can see product requirements, finance app dashboard and it's added purpose and the UI components and some more information. You can generate it as is, but basically better is to take this information to a notebook and change the information specifically for your needs. For example, you can change the primary color, the secondary color, and also the goal of the screen and the UI components. So to put it simple, it's helped you to have a structure of a prompt. You can tweak to get a better result with UX Pilot. Let's close it. And now I generate the screen. Okay, it generates the screens. And before I dive in into the screen, just let you know that here below you have a small menu that you can zoom in or zoom out, center the view. And also if I want, I can clear the canvas. I will not do it now because I need the screens. But if you want to clear the canvas, you can do it from here. Let's click on cancel and let's zoom into the screen I generated. This is the screen UX Pilot created for us. And let's see some advanced features that help you to work with the tool. First on the top, you have the typography icon. I click on it and now I can switch between different typographies. I select this typography. You can see that it's changed. You can search for font if you want. I will select for Lora. Click on it and you can see the typography change. To save the changes, just click on save below. Once click on the top menu, we have different options here. First, I can rename the frame. Let's call it finance app click outside and the name changed. You can export the page. You have two options here, export as PDF or as a zip file. I click on PDF and I can export it. Let's open it and you can see here the screen. Another thing that you can do is to move the page to another project. Also, you can save the screen and then open it in Figma and delete the screen if you want. Let's take a look on this menu here. First of all, you can see the code of this page. You can open it and paste it in Cursor or another AI tools to continue work with the code. Let's close. You can edit the screen from here. You can edit a section, global edit, and also edit the text. I make a little bit zoom out. I click on edit section. To make the change, I select the menu here. I paste the prompt, add expenses section to the menu, click on generate, and just let you know before we continue, I will leave the link to your Pilot in the description below. Now let's continue. And you can see it's added expenses to the menu. You can navigate between all the changes you did on the interface from here. So every change will create a new screen. I can click back and it's another screen, another one. I did some tests in these videos. So I have some different screens. I will go to the last section. If I click here in the same way, you can make a global edit for all the screen or edit a text, but basically it's the same process. By click on preview, it will open a new tab and I can see the page I generated on all the screen. On the header of the page, I can go to my old designs I created in this file. You can see here all the pages. I can click, for example, on the finance app with all the changes I did in the interface so I can navigate from here. This is a great way to share with your team the changes and discuss with them about the design. Let's close it. You can select here between the actual size on the fit width. In that case, it's the same. I back to actual size and you can also click here to see it on the full screen. Now it is in the full screen. I back to the UX Pilot. Here there is another menu. If I click on it, I make a little bit zoom in. 
Here I have the prompt history, so if I click on it, it will give you the prompt I used to generate the screen. I can copy it and play with that. Let's close it. If I click on change font, I can change the font. We saw it before. By clicking on use a context, let's click on it. You can see here that it is added a context. It will enhance the prompt to create a new screen based on that screen. This is a great way that if you work and want to generate different screens, but you have a basic screen where you want to build everything above that, this is a great way to do. So instead of write all the details from here, I can add the reference screens and the next screen that I generated will look close to these screens. Let's make a simple test here. I copy this prompt. I go to ChatGPT. I ask ChatGPT to read the prompt, paste the prompt. I write update the prompt for the expenses page, submit. I have here the new prompt. I copy it, paste it here in your Xpilot. Let's click now on generate. Be aware that if you make this process, review the prompt before execute it. Here on the demo, I didn't did it, but if you want that it will be precise for your needs, you must do it. It's finished the work and you can see that it generated for us a dashboard for the expenses. Here on the top expenses, total expenses, then the average. And as you can see, the design is the same as the first page. You can see this is the first page and then we created this new page, the expense page, based on the design of the first one. Next thing that you can do is to export as we saw before, move to page to another project as we saw before. If I click on it, you can move it to another project. Let's click on cancel. And if I want, I can share it with more people. I click on share. Let's turn it on, copy the link. Let's paste it here, enter. And here's the page we created with your Xpilot. Great way to share your designs with a client or with your team in a very simple way. And that's all for this video. I hope it will help you to work with UX Pilot. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And that's all. See you on the next one. Take care.